Well, today I'm going to do three more coats um, on this. So I've already done three. So firstly, I did the base coat and then I put the carbon fiber sheet on and then I did three coats and sanded back to flatten it. Uh, and it's looking really good. I've just sealed in these areas where I don't want the resin to be because it's it was really difficult to get out of those. So I've just sealed them off. The holes don't matter because I'm going to punch them through from the other side, drill them through from the other side anyway to make them nice and clean afterwards anyway, um, before I do the final clear coat, uh, spray coat. Uh, so I've just given it a really good clean over with grease and oil remover again. And now I'm going to really make sure I don't get any bubbles in the uh, epoxy resin by heating it up in a tray. So it'll be nice and clear when I paint it on. And over the course of today, I'm gonna to do three more thin coats. And then after that, I'll be doing the final sanding. So let's see how it goes. I've just used some Play-Doh in there. So it'll be easy to get out later and the um, resin won't get into those little slots. I found by heating it up a little bit in a pan, you can get the air bubbles to dissipate quicker but you just have to be careful you don't overcook it because it can harden really quickly. This is sort of how I ended up creating my tool which was taking the existing knob and just extruding it. This isn't the final one, I actually ended up cutting the bottom off and extruding that down a bit so I could end up with a, a bigger sort of base to hold the sanding paper. But yeah, pretty straightforward to make and I've made a few tools like this along the way. Uh, uh. So there it is. So this is how it works. The slot there is where I actually slip the sandpaper into and on the bottom, what I can actually do is cut out a piece of sandpaper to put on the bottom and I'll just stick it on the bottom. And when it gets worn out, I'll just cut it off again or I could actually put some Velcro on the bottom. So I think that's decided. I'm gonna ream these out and leave a little lip on the inside. And on the other side, I will create a little black box, which um, has a single hole in the top for the LED to go in. And I'll put foil on the back of that. So it's really bright and that will just stick to the surface, covering up where the slot is. Now, I could have actually modified the original print if I had have thought a little bit ahead to allow for that. But anyway, we'll just do it now, make it happen. And what I could actually do is, um, yes, that is what I'll do. I'll actually find the spot on here where the indicator will meet up. I think you're on the spot now. Um, here, which I think is probably in the center. And I will also put a pinhole in the bottom of there. So the light also shines through. That's gonna be more difficult, but I might have to put a pinhole, a hole for each position of the switch. So that that also lights up. Let's have a look if I've got one. To say here, this is going to be my button like this, that goes in there, um, and as the switch goes around, it's going to uncover one of those at a time, so I can backlight them as well. That would be cool. So I've stuck these stickers on here to act as templates for where to drill. And basically for each position here, there's going to be a drill I'm gonna put through there. 
and that's going to give me a light hole to shine up from underneath and I just wanted to check that they're all going to cover the holes properly and that the knobs turn and all that sort of stuff which they do and this central knob as well what I'm going to do for that is have a, a black blanking plate behind um, so what I basically have to do is drill through each one of these so that they light up and I think the size drill that I'm going to use is had it here somewhere oh, I always lose things but I think it'll be this one here or maybe even a bit smaller and then I'll actually dremel out the triangle um, same for these in each of those positions so they should be good oh nice work looks horrendous <laughs> It will all make sense. Yeah, so here's another Dodgy Tools R Us production. After literally hours of filing and scraping, I now have triangles cut out. So that should look a little bit nicer through the holes. So next time we'll get on to making the lighting for this project which will involve lighting backlighting for all of the knobs select a dial and whatever else i can think of <laughs>